Yeah, I'd like to uh, welcome Cristiana Figueres, the Executive Secretary of the United Nations Climate Change Convention. Uh, she's going to announce the winners of the fourth annual photo and video competition for the Clean Development Mechanism, uh, the title Changing Lives. Uh, Cristiana, first of all, what's the importance of this competition? Well, what's, what's really fun and important about this competition is that it really helps to put a human face on um, something that would otherwise be rather abstract. Um, what does reducing greenhouse gas emissions mean? What, what does that mean for me, for my personal life, for my community? Um, it's, it's very difficult to explain. And with these photo and, and video contests, what is done is in a, sometimes in a very fun way and sometimes in a very factual way, um, these photos and, and these videos really make it very clear how do these projects impact our human life. And as always, a very, very high standard uh, of entries this year. What has particularly impressed you about, about the, uh, the photographs and the videos uh, that you've seen? Well, we're getting a growing number of, uh, of photos and videos, which is uh, really heartening, uh, meaning that people are really liking this, this challenge. Um, and it's, it's, it really is uh, wonderful to see that the quality continues to improve, the quality of the photography, the quality of the videography. Um, it's, uh, it's obviously something that is uh, taking off and that we're very happy to continue to do. Okay, thank you very much. If you'd like to announce the winners, first of all, of the photo competition. Yes, the winners of the photo competition. So is this the first time they're hitting, hearing who won? This is, this is, this is the very it's first exclusive, time. Yeah, the first time. Yeah. I see. So this is like the Grammy Awards. Exactly, we should have the exactly, rum. Exactly. Yeah. Drum roll. Yeah. Drum so, roll. Yeah. The red carpet, etc. Right. Okay. So the winners of the photo competition are in third place. We have the photo dreamlike lighthouse. Isn't that a wonderfully romantic title? And uh, the photographer is Fu Ping Wang. Uh, it is associated with Project 1898, Fujing Jinjiang LNG Power Generation Project. This photograph of this uh, project, um, in this project what is happening is uh, natural gas is being used to, um, for power generation, displacing uh, much more intensive carbon uh, fuel. So it's a, it's a very beautiful evening shot. Uh, of, uh, of cleaner energy than the, um, than the one that it is displacing. In, and we have nobody here to pick that up. We don't, unfortunately. No. Okay. In second place, we have a uh, photograph entitled, I hope I don't completely butcher this name, Xiadu Kai is the name of the photographer. And the title of the um, photograph is A Way to a Better Life. It is uh, the Anui Sushu um, biomass power generation, and it is a photograph. Uh, the photograph shows how local, there we are, happy local residents are transporting corn stalks to the project site um, to burn them and create uh, electricity. So it's a biogeneration um, project. And the first place. Here we have the drum roll. The drum roll. The first place is the um, photograph by Abir Ibrahim. Uh, the title is Hand Over. Very nice title. Um, it's associated with the Egyptian brick factory. Um, and it is a, a project that converts 311 independent brick kilns from burning heavy oil to natural gas. And I am told we do have somebody to collect that the prize. Although Abir Ibrahim is personally not here, that uh, he is going to be represented. Thank you very much, by Tariq Shalabi, who will pick up the certificate in his name. Let me get up. Can you hold this? One? So would you give Abir a minute? Congratulate him. Thank you very much. Yes? Thank you. Anything else you would like to say? Woo. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, first of all, I'm, uh, I'm thanking the UNFCCC for uh, uh, this uh, award. And uh, 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 it's an honor to me to be here uh, among the winner uh, in, uh, on behalf of Abir. She, 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 she can come because for just a uh, uh, logistic issue. And uh, this, uh, this photo is uh, represent the 
the, the handover and the, the handoff between the, the precar life to, to, to make them uh, in coordination in their life and uh, which is uh, depend on uh, the physical the physical coordination between their life and there are a, uh, we got a, a, a huge cooperation and a huge uh, cooperation from the precar uh, maker uh, uh, representative and the Egyptian Environmental Affairs Agency to get this uh, photo by this way. Very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so, Christiane, if you could announce the winners, please, in third place first of the video contest. In third place, that means the bronze medal. In third place is Qatar Petroleum, Marsk Oil, and Myriab Media for a video entitled Al Shaheen Flare Recovery and Utilization Project, uh, which is a uh, project that um, diminishes the flare of gases in 80% and turns it into clean energy. And I hear that we have from the country of the um, incoming COP presidency, from Qatar Petroleum, uh, we have from the state of Qatar, Mr. Ali Al Hamimi. Did I say that correct? Yes. Very good. I have to practice my Arab, you know, <laughs> for next year. So here you are. And would you like to say something? Because we're all very soon going to be coming to Qatar. Yes. Uh, first one, uh, uh, I would like to thank you uh, to receive, uh, on behalf of the state of Qatar, and is pleased to receive this award and wish to use this uh, medium to uh, reaffirm its commitment to sustainable development and the clean mechanism uh, uh, production. And uh, I want to say the Al Shaheen project is reduced uh, approximately 2.5 million CO2 per year. And this project uh, implementation reduced emission and also created jobs. And uh, from this location, I would like to thank you again and to invite all of you in COP18 in Qatar next year. Very good. Thank you very much. We look forward to coming. Thank you. This is the Al Shaheen oil field. Developed under the auspices of Qatar Petroleum, it's already providing a third of Qatar's energy. It's served by a massive production complex including more than 300 wells and 30 platforms like this, some of which are the largest in the Arabian Gulf. Hugely impressive, but maybe hard to reconcile with groundbreaking world-class environmental achievements. And yet Al Shaheen has already won international recognition for its environmental credentials. How can that happen? Indeed, this innovation was recognized by the UN for the Al Shaheen Development Team's approach in implementing the FDP 2005 expansion program. Really interesting One of their main requirements was that as little as possible of the gas produced, along with Al Shaheen's oil, should be flared. As well as reducing emissions, Qatar Petroleum were keen to use this gas to help provide clean power to fuel the development of Qatar's economy and communities. The gas gathering system was simple, but turning it into reality required adaptability and significant investments in new hardware and operating procedures. It meant that the project team had to build more gas compressors and to drill more wells for reinjection. As Qatar Petroleum looked to the future, they remain committed to ensure that Al Shaheen's oil and gas reserves are managed responsibly and sustainably, developed for the long-term benefit of all Qatar's people, now and for generations to come. A key part of that effort is to protect Qatar's most precious resource, the unique environments of its coastal reaches and the waters of the Arabian Gulf. Continuing with our videos, we have in second place 
Uh, Newcrest Media Resource Production and Training created this video entitled Geothermal Energy Changing Lives on Lihir Island, uh, which depicts uh, the use of waste steam from mining activities and turning that into clean energy. And that is our second place winner. Begini ni, ia long dir, ini wok long sim, apa wa ikam long jatomol project long main. Ay, ni sabe, ating ni kan tokaut liglig long yam, bila wok la lain ni bisla long school. Alright, long school, ni play pin lain ni mos yam, apa wa long jatomol ni sabe kam long hot pastil. I come out long ground because long old work I come up long mine. Not two, because lir gold mine I stop on top long one pla old pla volcano. Make my or this pla fire way save suit come outside long volcano. I miss save hot in water way save go inside long ground. So time water and in it long ground in hot, you miss save kissing steam. Not this pla steam, I must save ketsim long old pipe. Na salim miko long one pa masin or generator we save kama pin power. So you kill ya now? Yes, Papa. Now me save now. Like me say you see no make your work the night. It can do your demand. And then, drum roll, da -da 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 -da. there you go, very good. In first place of the video contest, we have Aitan Dotan. It's really great what's happening here. Once, this whole area was flat. Then all the garbage from the center of the country began to be dumped here. More garbage and more garbage, till it grew into a mountain of garbage. It was huge, and it really stank, and many people really suffered. It was even dangerous. Dangerous above because of the many birds, and underneath where bad methane gas was being created and polluted the atmosphere. Wow, think what could have happened. In 2000, everyone said, enough. The site was closed and covered with soil. Everyone was delighted. Well, maybe not everyone. <laughs> you think that solved the problem? Man, are you wrong. Gas was still being created and escaping into the atmosphere. Dan Region Association of Towns took up the challenge to make the change. 84 wells were drilled into the mountain, capturing the gas. The gas was piped to a nearby factory that needed good, clean energy. A landfill producing a biogas, using it for the factory with a pipeline six kilometers away from here. It's something unbelievable. It's a big success. 
the Haria Recycling Park was open and a center for environmental education was built. Now visitors from all over can experience all kinds of recycling activities. How do you think I know all of this? Coming here and seeing all these children and youngsters getting more aware about environmental problems is the most important thing there is. The mountain itself is being transformed into a beautiful park. The mountain now rises as a symbol, a reminder that big problems can be solved with the help of creative ideas and environmental change is possible. Um, so Mr. Aitan Dotan uh, has created this animated video entitled A Mountain of Change, which is an animation uh, depicting in a very fun way how waste can be used to generate electricity. And it is a video um, that I must say when I saw it uh, actually brought a very uh, good smile to my face. So congratulations uh, for that first prize and I'm sorry that you're not here to receive it, but uh, congratulations to you. Okay, Christiana, thank you very much.